Hey there guys, Napkins here, and uh, I am here to read some My Immortal. So, if you don't know what My Immortal is, it's a really, it's it's known as probably the worst fanfiction ever exists, but it has like a cult following. Um, so, we're just gonna go ahead and read it. It's Harry Potter, just so you guys know. I don't know if that sweetens the deal for anybody, but we're gonna go ahead and do this. If you guys want to read along with me, which you should, because otherwise you're gonna miss some really golden writing, like some really golden grammar and everything. Uh, I have a link down in the description. You should just, you, you honestly should just have both going at the same time. So, here we go. My Immortal, a dramatic reading and reaction video. Chapter one. Author's note. Special fangs. Get it? Cause I'm gothic. I, I, oh, I get it instead of special thanks. Oh, this is already. To my new girlfriend, ew, not in that way, no homo, Raven, bloody tears 666, <laughs> helping me with the story and spelling. Tell she helped you a lot. <laughs> you rock, Justin, you're the love of my depressing life. You rock too. MCR rocks. Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven <laughs> A great start. And I have long ebony black hair. That's how I got my name. With purple streaks. Wait, okay. No, I'm just kidding. With purple streaks and red tips that reaches my mid back and icy blue eyes like limpid tears. And a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. Author's note If you don't know who she is, then get the hell out of here. I'm not related to Gerard Way, but I wish I was because he's a major fucking hottie. That's called incest. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I have pale white skin. I'm also a witch. And I go to a magic school called Hogwarts in England, where I'm the seventh year. I'm 17. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell. And I wear mostly black. I love Hot Topic, and I buy all my clothes from there. For example, today I was wearing a black corset with matching lace around it and a black leather miniskirt, pink fishnets, and black combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick, white foundation, black eyeliner, red eyeshadow. I was walking outside Hogwarts. It was snowing and raining, so there was no sun, which I was ha very happy about. A lot of preps stared at me, put up my middle finger at them. Hey Ebony, shouted a voice. I looked up. It was Draco Malfoy. What's up Draco? I asked. Nothing, he said shyly. But then I heard my friends call me and I had to go away. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the next day I woke up in my bedroom. It was snowing and raining again. At the same time, I opened the door of my coffin. The door of your coffin? There's a door on your coffin? And drank some blood from a bottle I had. My coffin was black ebony and inside it was hot pink velvet with black lace on the ends. This girl's obsessed with ebony and black lace. I got out of my coffin and took off my giant MCR t-shirt which I used for my pajamas. Instead, I put on a black leather dress, a pentagram necklace, combat boots, and black fishnets on. I put on four pairs of earrings and my pierced ears and put my hair in a kind of a messy bun. My friend, Willow, author's note, Raven, this is you, woke up and then grinned at me. She flipped her long, waist-length, raven black hair with pink streaks and opened her forest green eyes. She put on her Marilyn Manson t-shirt with a black mini, fishnets, and pointy high-heeled boots. We put on our makeup black lipstick, white foundation, and black eyeliner, because what other color would we wear? Oh my fucking god, I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy yesterday, she said excitedly. Yeah, so, I said blushing. Do you like Draco? She asked as we went out of the Slytherin common room and into the great hall. No, I so fucking don't, I shouted. Yeah, right, she exclaimed. Just then, Draco walked up to me. Hi, he said. Hi, I replied flirtily. Guess what, he said. What, I asked. <laughs> well, Good Charlotte are having a concert in Hogsmeade, he told me. Oh. My. Fucking. God, I screamed. I love GC. They're my favorite band besides MCR. Obs. Well, do you want to go with me, he asked. I gasped. End of chapter. Okay. Why would... Why would Good Charlotte... Be in a wizarding town, playing for wizards who would have never heard of him. Them. Them. Sorry. 
Author's note, stop flamming the story preps, okay? Otherwise, thanks to the gothic people for the good reviews. Thanks again, Raven. Oh yeah, BTW, I don't own this or the lyrics for Good Charlotte. On the night of the concert, I put on my black lace-up boots with high heels. Underneath them were ripped red fishnets. Then I put on black leather mini dress with all this corset stuff on the back and front. <laughs> what? I put on matching fishnets on my arms. I straightened my hair and made it look all spiky. I felt a little depressed then, so I slit one of my wrists? What? I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop bleeding, and I listened to some GC. That literally makes no sense. I painted my nails black and put on tons of black eyeliner. Then I put on some black lipstick. I didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyways, even though I was wearing foundation earlier. I drank some human blood so I was ready to go to the concert. I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. He was wearing a simple plan t-shirt. They would be playing the show too. Baggy black skater pants, black nail polish, and a little eyeliner. A lot of cool boys wear it, okay? Hi Draco. Oh, sorry. Hi Draco, I said in a depressed voice. Hi Ebony, he said back. We walked into his black flying Mercedes Benz. <laughs> the license plate said 666 and flew to the place with the concert. On the way, we listened to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. We both smoked cigarettes and drugs. <laughs> just drugs, no, no specific drugs, just drugs in general. When we got there, we both hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. Joel is so fucking hot, I said to Draco, pointing at him as he sung, filling the club with his amazing voice. Suddenly, Draco looked sad. What's wrong? I asked as we moshed to the music. Then I caught on. Hey, it's okay. I like him better. I don't like him better than you, I said. Really? asked Draco, sensitively, as he put his arm around me all protectively. Really, I said. Besides, I don't even know Joel, and he's going out with Hillary fucking Duff. I fucking hate that little bitch. What? I said disgustingly, thinking of her ugly blonde face. The night went really well, and I had a great time. So did Draco. After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. We got GC concert tees. Draco and I crawled back into their Mercedes Benz, but Draco didn't go back into Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the car into... The Forbidden Forest. Bum bum bum. Well, that was a... That was a great beginning to what I can tell is going to be a great story. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and go. If you guys want to see more of this, please let me know. Because I will. I will I will do more of a dramatic not even a dramatic reading. I'm just reading it and giving my honest reaction. Um My heart is crying. So is my eyes from reading this. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!